Have you ever found yourself in a situation where all of your services are running in Kubernetes and now you need to expose them to outside world securely and reliably? Ingress management is an essential part of your configuration and operations when services are exposed outside of a cluster. And one needs to take care of the authentication, observability, auditing, encryption, integration with other third-party vendors alongside of other things. In this demo, we will be using Istio as our service mesh and we will be using Kong Gateway and Kong Ingress Controller in order to provide external access to the services that run inside Service Mesh enabled Kubernetes cluster. Let's briefly start by explaining this Kubernetes cluster. For this particular demo, we're using Minikube, which is going to be a local installation. Details of this demo will be applicable to any Kubernetes installation. Minikube was taken as an example to run this locally. The first thing that we need to do is to install and download archive that includes some of the tools that Istio provides. Specifically, we downloading Istio control tool. We need to enable this tool by putting this into the folder that will be somewhere in your path, so it will be available. And we're gonna run this small tool called PreCheck that checks is our cluster able and willing to run our service mesh. So Istio control PreCheck runs successfully and smoothly we're ready to do service mesh so next thing is that we're gonna install a control plane of istio with minimal configuration that will just deploy one pod that will include istio pilot that's only thing that we're gonna be needing for this application even though istio comes with some other tools we just need to have istio pilot and if we can see this in uh, my k9s application our istio pilot is up and running and our control plane is ready to do some interesting things. So next thing is that we're going to deploy Kong and we're going to deploy this in an environment where Istio will be able to inject some of the uh, data plane. So we're creating a Istio, Kong Istio namespace and we're providing a label to this namespace that enables Istio injection. So next thing that we observe this uh, label that it was successfully applied. Let's go ahead and deploy Kong next. To deploy Kong, we're gonna be using Helm and we deploy this using officially provided Helm charts. I need to add this Helm charts repo to my local repo and after that update information by running Helm repo update. In the next step, we're gonna be installing Kong Helm chart with name of uh, release Kong Istio. We're gonna deploy this in namespace called Kong Istio and Kong Kong is our Helm chart that we're gonna be installing. As we can see here, there's uh, multiple containers in one port. Two of those come with Kong ingress controller and Kong itself. So we can see this, there's ingress controller and proxy. And Istio also injected two data plane containers. One is init container that would set initial rules for IP tables to route all the traffic that goes into this pod into the this Istio proxy and Istio proxy will be capturing some of the traffic that goes into this container. As a next step we need to figure out the external IP address of our Kong ingress. In the real world applications you can use the load balancer to expose Kong to outside world. For Minikube we're gonna run a command called Minikube service list that allows to get address and port of this Kong service. It's going to be using some sort of net magic in order to expose it. Let's try to test this using Insomnia. We're going to create a simple request to this service. And voila, we can see traditional greetings from the Kong where nothing is configured. There's no route matching with those values, meaning that there's nothing is configured there. Let's observe our headers and see what we see in there. Uh, traditional Kong headers and some of the headers that come from Envoy, which is our data plane that Istio injected. We're using this information for tracing some of the requests. We're going to be observing this in future. In order to play around with this, we're going to be using uh, Istio supplied uh, book info demo that we can install in a book info namespace. Also, we want to enable Istio injection for this namespace as well. So that's why we specify a label for this uh, book info namespace. We can see there's a label Istio injection enabled. Next, we're going to do kube control apply file that will include manifest for this book info that will include multiple different components, including deployment services, three different components that include front end application, some of the details of the book 
and ratings information service. We deploy three different versions of review service that we're going to be using in the future to show how we can randomize the traffic and hit different versions of review service. We need to wait until a product page will be up and running because uh, it's our front end and this is the place where we're going to start our UI. Once we're done, we need to expose the product service using Kubernetes Ingress. Let's quickly take a look how our Ingress file look like. In this here, we've seen that our Ingress class mentioned Kong, and in this case, Kong Ingress Controller will handle this, and the traffic will be routed to product page service. Let's go ahead and apply this Ingress, and we will be able to hit the service in our Insomnia tool. So successful response, and voila, we see this UI here as well. Let's open this in the browser and click around different versions. So let's see how the normal user sees this. Let's see how the test user sees this. So, so far and so good. In order to review internal beauty of this application, we're going to install some of the observability tools that Istio comes with. So we're going to install a Prometheus in order to capture metrics. We're going to install Jaeger in order to capture all the traces that services might have. And we're going to use Kiali is our UI tool to observe what is going on with our services. We need to wait a few seconds until Kiali service will be up and running because this is our place where we're going to be starting. We need to expose the port where the Kiali is deployed so we can go with the browser and see there. We're interested in a book info namespace. So that's why we will drill down here and let's see the graph of our application. So we have a book info and the uh, Kong Istio namespace is enabled. So right now, there's not much is going on because we didn't send any traffic here yet through Ingress. So let's do this. So we're going to be open this in our browser and let's click around again. So we go in the one page of normal user. And as you can see here, this browser is actually going to this application through Ingress. So we're hitting Kong Ingress here. And now as a test user, we're doing the same. So if we refresh the screen, we immediately start seeing all trace all the things that how going on in our application we see that request comes from browser it goes into proxy and after that it goes in our services a product page there's a front end there's reviews some book details and so far and so on let's have some fun with uh, this uh, deployment and deploy some additional uh, destination rules so in this particular case we want to see that random load balancer that every time when we'll be hitting our review service based on the request it will be routing us to different version of the service just for fun just to see how it works and how we can observe this let's apply this group control apply file Next, we're going to using a functionality of Insomnia that allows to repeat a certain request on particular interval. So we're going to hitting this page with the two seconds interval so we can simulate user behavior like someone is hitting this page. Same way we can actually go to different pages and pretend that it's going to be normal user is clicking around here with two seconds interval. we can get back to Kiali UI and see what do we have here. As you can see here, now every time when hitting reviews, we go into the different version of this review service. Some of the service depend on the rating application. Some of the services are not. So that's why we might see some of the ratings and sometimes we cannot see some ratings. So with these uh, traffic policies, we can have a very flexible routing to our application. So next thing is that we enable some of the Kong plugins in this deployment and see how we can get the leverage of this. We're going to be deploying this rate limiting plugin that will have a 30 request per minute. Next, we're going to do Coop control apply plugin and in order to create of this object uh, plugin. And the next step will be enabling this plugin for ingress. After we apply this plugin, we need to modify our ingress in order to enable this plugin for particular ingress. So in this case, we're adding annotation called kwonghq.com slash plugins, and we enable this plugin here. We do have some extra headers for our rate limiting. We know when it will expire, how many requests we have left, and uh, when the next time will we have an opportunity to submit new requests. So we have it here. We submit this every one second in order to get the result quicker. And after a certain time, we start seeing some of the errors. Very quickly, we see the API rate limit exceeded, meaning that's just too many requests that happen here. 
and Kiali will be able to capture this 429 air in the UI and uh, we will be able to observe this in the UI really quickly because of the Kong is pushing back. So we will see this red line that happened when the browser hits the Kong and uh, we see these errors here. Because we cannot access this product page, Kiali thinks there's some errors because definitely errors. 429 is considered as an error, maybe not so critical as like a 500 or 502, but still error. So we will be able to use Istio tools together with Kong and enable all the power of the Kong enable with the plugins.